Look high in the sky, at a streak through the air. You'll know it's a comet, a sight strange and rare. Take heed, and you'll know that before the dawn breaks, deep down in the darkness, something awakes. This film was inspired by my daughter and her love of all animals. And when I realized that this was the story that I wanted to tell, I wanted to tell the story of Fawn, the animal talent fairy who loves animals unconditionally, but she has to find the balance. She has a huge open heart, but she has to think with her head as well. I realized that's the story that I wanted to tell. And the best place to tell that story is in Pixie Hollow. You've got this really, really beautiful imaginative landscape and you can apply these new characters to it. Gruff, the Never Beast, is a new creature. We've never seen anything like that before. Um, so I really wanted to do something magical in a magical place. Steve's concept of Fawn as this open-hearted fairy who has unconditional love for all animals Jennifer Goodwin brought such a sense of joy and energy to the role. She would come into the recording booth and she would be laughing and just sharing that same journey of the heart that we take the audience with. And it was an absolute pleasure to work with. I think it's an emotional film. Um, I loved the classic Disney films, Bambi, Dumbo, and Pinocchio. All those films that really kind of took you emotionally to places you've never been before. And that's absolutely the type of film I wanted to make. I wanted to make a film with a tremendous amount of heart, but that also had a lot of emotion. Because those are the films that you share with your children, and then your children will share with their children. It's those films that live on forever that you take into your heart that I think really matter. Okay, okay, just try not to scream. <laughs> <gasps> Shh! I'm not screaming! I'm gasping! We would love to tell more stories with Tinkerbell. You know, we're here to talk about Legend of the Never Beast, mm -hmm. and when we have the next story ready to go, I'm sure we're going to be announcing it. Cool. Yeah. I am a huge fan of music. And uh, honestly, to be here today in London is a big deal for me because a lot of the most important mu music came from here. So the soundtrack was very, very important to me. Um, so we have Joel McNeely, who has done the score for the previous films. And he's done this great job with creating a sound for Pixie Hollow, something that's very familiar. Um, but then I brought on a singer-songwriter pop musician called Blue. And then what he did is he brought the sound of Gruff the Never Beast, which is earthy and tribal and, and primal. And so he created that sound by using pots and pans and, and bits and bobs he's found around the house. And he would take little mallets and he'd kind of hit them and to get something that's really unique. And it's the combination of Joe McNeely's score and blues percussion together that creates something really, really unique. Because what it is, it's a merging of two worlds. It's a merging of the fairies world and of the Never Beast world. And then KT Tunstall doing the vocals on all the songs on top of that is just absolutely amazing. It really created a soundtrack that I absolutely love. I would love to revisit Kim Possible at some point in the future, absolutely. Um, I, uh, I worked on that show for many, many years. It's very close to my heart. And yeah, I would love an opportunity in the future to possibly re revisit Kim Possible. Cool. Sure, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, of Disney films. And the films of the past, like Dumbo and Bambi and Pinocchio, as well as the movies of today. You know, I loved Frozen, I loved Wreck-It Ralph, and I can't wait for folks to see Big Hero 6 and for folks to see Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. I'm actually a huge fan of animation um, because animation to me is caricatured life. It's seeing life through your own particular vision because it's somewhat exaggerated, it's somewhat, you have, the colors are more primary, uh, the emotions are a little bit more heightened. Um, to me, animation is an art form that I absolutely love. I love all types of animation. I love doing animation. So for me, it's just an art form that just is fascinating. Disney's Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast. It's like you're a cross between Didelphus Marsupialis and Bison Occidentalis. It spits. Ew. 
Ew, my skin is gonna break out. I'm still sound the same.